Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Chelsea and welcome. If you are an existing subscriber or viewer, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a very hyped up product. Not a lot of people I have that I have seen have reviewed this product, but it is all over the internet. So I bought it and now we're gonna test it out. It is this brush straightener thing. It's supposed to be a hairbrush that straightens your hair with heat and it's supposed to be done in like half the time of a regular straightener. So I bought it, we're gonna try it out. We're gonna see if this thing really works and we're just gonna do this. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna plug it in because it's not plugged in right now. And then there's an on button and then there's two buttons, a plus button and a minus button. I'm assuming that's for the heat. I'm not sure, we will learn together. Okay, it's plugged in, I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, so it's in Celsius. I'm American. We don't know who Celsius. Okay, 80 degrees Celsius is the lowest setting. And 230 degrees Celsius is the highest. I'm gonna set it at 180 and I'm gonna check my phone to see what temperature that is in Fahrenheit. Got my handy dandy phone, I'm just gonna search it. Three hundred and fifty six degrees. I can bake some cookies on this thing. So three fifty six. It's rather hot. So let me take my hair down. And this product is Chinese, Japanese, something Asian. So there are no directions in English. I don't know what the directions are. But from what I've seen from the infomercials, you just brush your hair. But what I'm gonna do first is actually brush my hair because I don't feel like if I have knots that this will get my knots out. So I'm just gonna brush my hair. This is it. We're gonna see if this product works. But first, look at my Mickey Mouse shirt. How cute is that? Got it on Target and Mickey Mouse glows in the dark. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can actually see my hair better. And we're gonna see if this product works. Okay, I think that's good. Now these red dots are supposed to be heat guards for your head. And yeah, these red dots are not hot at all, but the black is the part that heats up. My iron is ready, so we're just Oops, I pressed a button, Never mind. We're gonna see if this thing works. My hair is not hot. But it did get straight. So we're just gonna brush our hair. I feel like I might need to turn this up a little bit. I'm gonna go to 190. It is straightening my hair though. Now in all the infomercials, they never um, section their hair. They just kind of brush it. Red nubbies, I can feel them dragging in my hair. I don't like that. But if this is easier than straightening my hair normally, I can't get used to it. 
Okay, I think I still need to put it up to 210. I think it would be easier if I did section it because my hair is rather thick. But the hair, like, it's not hot to touch. Still think I need to turn it up. Let me actually. section it out. I still think it's going to be faster than a normal hair iron. But maybe it's just because my hair is really thick. So it's working better now that it's sectioned and it is going pretty fast, but I have this set to 225 and it still hasn't gone past 200, but I think it's because I may be using it. Okay, so the 200 degrees was not cutting it, so I bumped it up to 220. It took a really long time for it to heat up to 220. It, I guess it's it, it seemed to heat up quicker with the lower settings, obviously, but once it got to 180, it went really slow to 200 and super slow to 220. So just keep that in mind. Maybe just set it for the time that, or for the temperature you want. Walk away, come back, finish your hair, maybe do your makeup while you're waiting for it to heat up. It's not a big problem for me, I don't really care. But this is a trial and error to see which temperature works the best for me. So once I get the temperature that works the best for me, this will probably be a lot faster than what it is. But let's continue. So. I've been using it and it's already dropped down to 210. So it obviously doesn't hold its temperature. Does it work? Kind of. The temperature is set at 230, and it was at 220 when I started again. It has now dropped down to 193. So it clearly does not hold its temperature at all. If it did hold its temperature, it might be able to actually straighten my hair better than what it did. Also, it's not easy to slide this brush through your hair without pulling out a piece of hair and dragging it through because of these red nubs. They are rubber and they 
Like if I do this by itself, it doesn't even get into the layers of hair. It just goes on the top of the hair and the heat is actually underneath the red. So the it doesn't, the red nubs do not allow it to slide through your hair like a normal hairbrush. Do I think you should go out and buy this product? No, I do not. This product didn't work. It was not worth the money that I paid for it. It just wasn't. It's now the temperature is going back up. So it only holds its temperature when it's not going through your hair. What kind of straightener is that? I mean, it did straighten my hair, but if you could actually be in person, it's really wavy still. It's not straight. Stick to your normal straightener. That's all I have to say. I'm not happy with this at all. It's probably gonna go back to the store that it came from. I bought it online, so I'm just probably gonna return it. I had high hopes for that. This product gets a big, big fat thumbs down. No, just no. Don't go out and buy this. Don't waste your time. Don't think that the infomercials are legit because they're just not. This product doesn't work. That's all I have for you. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you aren't already, make sure to subscribe and like this video. Leave me a comment down below on anything. Anything. I love to read comments. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.